Why should companies use consultants? That's a good question. And in fact, there's probably some bad feeling about consultants. If you're a Dilbert fan like I am, he's got a whole strip about it. And uh, one of the characters says, consulting is the uh, combination of conning and insulting. So you're conning somebody and you're insulting them and that's what consulting is all about. Well, hopefully that's not the, uh, the picture you have of what consultant is. There are a number of reasons why companies should hire consultants and I want to share those with you. First of all, even in large companies, but certainly in small companies, everybody is involved in day-to-day -day activities. As projects crop up and additional work needs to be done, they just may not have the time in order to get those things accomplished. And they need an additional set of hands in order to help them. In that case, a consultant can be brought in, worked in on those special projects, and to provide that extra pair of hands that are necessary in the company without upsetting the day-to-day -day activities and routines that, that people have. The second reason for bringing a consultant in is that you can bring them in for a set period of time uh, and once that project or that particular work activity is done, then you can let them go. That's well known in the consulting industry. Nobody expects to have a lifetime job in a company. Whereas if you hire additional people to handle just that particular work, what do you do once that work is done? Either you find more work or you've got to let them go. And that's kind of a distasteful thing for, for a new employee to be hired only to be let go for no reason other than there wasn't enough work to keep them occupied. Consulting, that's not an issue. There may also be a lack of expertise uh, on the company's part. There may be a specific expertise that's necessary on a technical basis uh, where you don't, again, want to bring a, a, a person in and, and employ them for a long period of time, but for, just for that particular project that's going on. So you bring a consultant in who has that expertise and they can work with you. And once again, the initiative is done, then the engagement is over. There are also biases that crop up in companies. You may want to bring somebody in who has no dog in the fight, so to speak, and they can work with you, they can provide a different perspective, and they can certainly bring in the experiences that they have from other organizations that might have had similar issues, circumstances, problems, work, and they can provide insights that you may not have and also to fight some of those internal biases you have or may have in regards to why things should get done and how they should get done. Finally, a good consultant will be inclusive of all the employees in the initiative. They will include people even though, again, there's a time consideration in there. They'll get that input. They will involve them in what's going on so people understand what's happening and they will involve them in the solution so at the end of the day there's an acceptance. So consulting can have very positive aspects. Like with everything else, there are good consultants and bad consultants, so pick your consultant wisely, but when you do, work with them, have them work with you, and it should be a good, rewarding, pleasurable experience for both sides.